We've got the all new BMW electric vehicle, the iX. Boy, did they make a statement with this one. Ooh. Oh, they're quick. This thing up. is fast. Go buy the Tesla. Hello, Tesla. Hello, look at us go, Tesla. <laughs> okay, easy, Dre, easy. easy. All right, uh, we are driving the new BMW iX, Miss Piggy. And let's get into what's under the floor of this thing. The X-Drive 50 has 516 horsepower and 564 pound-feet of torque. 521 kilometers, 324 miles of EV range, standard all-wheel drive, and it goes 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in 4.6 seconds, 0 to 60 in 4.4 seconds. Then there's the M60 with 610 horsepower and 810 pound-feet of torque, up to 450 kilometers of range, that's 280 miles. Standard all-wheel drive, it goes 0 to 100 kilometers an hour in 3.8 seconds, 0 to 60 in 3.6. In Canada, there's one more model to choose from, it's called the X-Drive 40 with 322 horsepower and up to 322 kilometers of EV range, it's also standard all-wheel drive. The Miss Piggy front grille, either known as Darth Vader. And guess what? It's self-healing. That means if you get a little scratch within 24 hours, it's going to heal itself. And if you put some warm air on it, well, it's going to heal it in five minutes. Yeah, but it can't fix ugly, Andrea. That it can't do. Now, some people are going to love it and some are not. All right, let's get into the key standard features of the BMW iX. It comes standard with a 14.9 inch touchscreen with the iDrive 8 system, a 12.3 inch digital driver display, wireless Apple CarPlay and wired Android Auto, heated front seats, a heated steering wheel, a heat pump, a power tailgate, adaptive air suspension and four wheel steering and parking assistance. This is fancy. It's got a crystal knob. It does. But what are we going to put it in? You got to put it in S for subscribe. And if you can hit that notification bell, you'll be notified when all of our reviews drop and then you can watch them. And we do this, the couple car review, twice a week. The first one drops on Wednesday. We put another one out on Saturday. So make sure you like and subscribe, but also follow along on Instagram. It's motormouth underscore Andrea. For me, it's motormouth underscore auto, and the links are below. This video is brought to you by Car Cost Canada. Get the dealer's cost, list of rebates, plus discounted interest rates. Use the promo code MOTORMOUTH to become an expert member and get extra searches. The link is in the description below. Now take it from us, we've driven quite a few electric cars. The problem with reviewing electric cars is they all have a similar kind of drive. Yeah. The battery's low, low center of gravity, they're quiet, they're smooth, and they're all very quick. So it's all a degrees of difference. And they're all quiet. Mm -hmm. uh, what I do like about this is the higher seating position. You sit up and over the dash mm. and it's quite comfortable. This is a comfortable vehicle to drive. I can see on a long road trip how much people would like this. This is like a living room. You know what this reminds yeah. me of the driving in the seating position? A lot of people aren't going to like this. <laughs> But this reminds me of a minivan. Yeah. The way the seats are positioned, the floating center console, yeah. huge windows, it's like a minivan. I like the steering in here. It's not too heavy, not too light. I think it's just about right, to be <laughs> honest with you. Okay, Goldilocks. Um, and the brakes are a little bit grabby at lower speeds. I mean, you do get used to it, but I would say I'm not a huge fan of yeah. it. There are three drive modes to choose from, personal, sport, and efficient. I mostly have it in sport mode. I don't know if it's really any sportier than the other modes, but maybe it makes me feel like it is. You know what BMW did do, which is quite different than a lot of other electric cars, is air suspension is standard equipment, yeah. and active rear steering is standard equipment. You change, um, you know, you want to change lanes or in a parking lot at low speeds, man, this thing maneuvers incredibly well, and that's yeah. standard equipment. In the US, it's actually not standard. You have to add the dynamic handling package for $1,600 US to get it. <laughs> this iX has got one pedal drive. You just pop it into B, brake mode, at the center console, and um, it comes to a complete stop. Now, if you don't like that feeling. I don't like that feeling. No, then you have to go in 
to the touch screen and you can change it. They've got three different settings. We usually keep it on low. I, I keep it off. I just put it back yeah, into drive. Yeah, or you keep it off, yeah. And uh, it's, you know, a lot of people say, well, that's, you kind of get used to it. But as a passenger, anytime yeah. the driver lifts off the throttle, you're kind of doing this. It's, it's not really good for the tummy. No. All right. So we've waited long enough. We kind of teased it a little bit. The way this thing looks. Yeah is a statement by BMW. Tesla's run away with the market share for EVs. They yeah. want to make a statement, and this is what they came up with. Look, I'm not a big fan of the grill. I'm going to say it right now. It's not my favorite, but it gets a lot of looks. It gets a lot of attention, and people are talking about it all the time. Is it one of those things, Andrea, whether are they laughing with you or are they <laughs> laughing at you? I don't know. I don't know. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder, and some people well, are huge fans of this. Andrea married me. Oh, huh? God. All right, so I the, like the slim LED headlights. Do you know that these are the slimmest, slimmest that BMW, BMW has ever, ever made produced for a production vehicle? I didn't know that. I think I heard that a couple of days ago. Yeah. Uh, the grill is one of these things. I guarantee you, once it's been out on the road and in the wilderness, and you see it six, eight months, a year later, you'll just go, "Oh yeah, there's an iX." You get used to it. I like the profile. This is quite a long vehicle. It comes with 20 inch, 21 inch and 22 inch wheels. We've got the sport package on this with the black accents, but you can also get blue accents, which I think looks really good. We've upgraded to the 22 inch wheels on this. The back of this, the, the side profile, as Andrew mentioned, looks quite good. It's yeah. long, but the back of this looks really good. It's got a clamshell rear lift gate. You know, Audi was onto something with the Q5 and the Q7 and it suits this vehicle. So they got it all right. Yeah. Except for the front. So I'm a huge fan of this interior. I think that it is so modern yet simple. And I like the visibility that this offers. Just like a minivan. Just like a minivan. Now they've gotten rid of all the buttons and the hot keys, mm -hmm. but I just read an article. The head of BMW design said this Everything in a screen thing is overdone, and he thinks that we're at peak screen, and we're going to Ooh. go back to buttons. Ooh. Oh, I love when he talks dirty Whoa. like that. Back to buttons? Yeah. That gets us really excited. Now, they just came out with this, so why would the head of BMW Design say that? I Please, you're speaking to my heart. Now, it does have a climate button on the bottom that stays at the bottom of the screen, so you can touch it and go into the screen to put on your heated seats and heated steering wheel. We don't have ventilated front seats in our test model because... We've got the cloth, but you can get it as an option. So this center console really goes to the whole minivan vibe I'm picking up on this yeah, thing. I agree. I, I think it's well done. I do not like where the cup holders are. It's hard to access your coffee or your drink, but I do like the space and the extra cargo space that's available. Of course, there's lots of packages and a la carte items to choose from to make this your own, including a head up display and of course, all of those active safety features as well that are available. The Sky Lounge panoramic sunroof is available in a package. Yep, you can make it brighter. It's like the Venza, right? Yeah, it's like the Venza. It, it gets brighter and dimmer. It doesn't actually get that bright, to be honest with you. No, it doesn't. And here's another fun fact. This is the largest panel roof that BMW has put in any of their vehicles. Did you know that these headlamps are the thinnest that BMW's ever produced, Are Andrea? you making fun of me, no, Zach, making... and my fun facts? All right. Uh, fun fact is, I fit in the back of this. Yeah. There is a lot of legroom. This vehicle is long. It has a long wheelbase. You will not be disappointed with room. However, the back seat doesn't tilt, the back seat doesn't slide. It's fixed but comfortable. The second row has a flat floor, but I actually didn't find the middle seat to be that comfortable. It's quite firm. Now we do have a question coming up in Questions Coffee mm -hmm. and Cars, like seconds away about the cargo area, which really is rather roomy. Now, not in the best spot, similar to a minivan. Grab my coffee. Yeah, Let's get into it. Great. Time now for Questions Coffee and Cars. Your questions from Instagram. I hear the trunk boot space is very limited for its size. Hmm. It's actually pretty spacious. It offers more than the X5 at 35.5 cubic feet or over a thousand liters of space. It's long. What I was surprised because it has this sort of clamshell opening. Mm -hmm. um, the space between the outside body panel and the inside of the cargo area, there's about 
probably that much room. Usually they hollow that out so you could maybe get a golf bag in there yeah. or something like that. I'd, there's probably all the science that makes this go is back there hidden. If you're curious about <laughs> how it fits in with a Tesla, it offers more cargo space behind the second row than the Model Y, but not quite as much as the Model X. So Un it is a little bit bigger. And under the floor, there's cable storage, mm -hmm. but there's no big extra trunk like you get in the Model Y. And no front trunk. No front trunk. No. No, they don't even have a latch. Nope. Oh, but you know what? Something that's quite interesting is the logo at the front. You just lift that up and you can put your washer fluid in. Clever. I got that. So I guess not all the science is in the back. Some of it's at the front <laughs> yes. too. Is the interior clad with Alcantara? If so, not a fan. Hopefully other materials are available. I wonder how many Alcantaras they had to skin to make this. Who knows, eh, hon? Who knows? It's better than the vegan interior because those poor vegans <laughs> to make an interior it's 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 a synthetic material it's don't worry friendly nobody was injured making this but yes it is totally covered in alcantara yeah is it blue or is it gray it's blue okay but see? it is called gray but it is blue but then this is gray the cloth mm -hmm. has got blue and kind of a gray and a brown it's we are, a real mix we bag are, in here we are in a new marketing era friends where they give you basic stuff and they charge you more yeah so that cloth seats so they're standard leather in Canada, faux leather in the United States, That's right? That's right. Sensitech in the United States. Is that not strange? Yeah. Even on that base model in Canada, which you don't get in the U.S., the X-Drive 40, we get leather. But you, on this X-Drive 50, get Sensitech. All right. So you have to pay extra to get cloth seats. Back in the day when I was growing up, you got cloth or vinyl <laughs> as your base interior and yeah. you paid extra to get the leather. The world is upside down. It's upside down. So how much is this I, uh, cloth interior? $1,500 Canadian. I like it. I like but it. But why do I have to pay more for it? Do you know what this reminds me of? If I lived in a modern apartment, this would be my couch. Mm -hmm. I mean, it is just such a pretty color and it is so soft to the touch. I think it's incredible. The material in here is incredible. Okay, we have a Porsche Cayenne GTS with an Alcantara interior. Yeah. Headliner, doors, seats, except for the center, which are the bolsters, I should say, which are leather. Um, and it's uh, 14 years old. Yeah. Still looks great. We put out a lot of content each week on the Motormouth YouTube channel, and it's super easy to find. All you do is go to the YouTube search bar and type in Motormouth, the name of the channel, then the brand you're looking for. In this case, it's BMW, and all our reviews pop up. It's that simple. What is with that steering wheel? I can barely get past the grill and the gear selector. It's quirky looking for sure, but I actually think that it's very functional. The bottom is a flat bottom steering wheel and it leaves lots of room for my legs. And then the top is a little bit wider and taller and it doesn't obstruct visibility. So I get why they did it. Well, they're just trying to be different. Like that's this is this whole car. The exercise is to go, ooh, there, yeah. that's is that an electric car? And that's what they're trying to accomplish. This reminds me uh, of the new Corvette steering wheel, mm. and it has the same kind of added. I don't. You put it this way: you drive this, you don't realize it's anything different. It's no. not the goofy yoke they have in the Model S. Oh. Um, they they actually have a steering wheel that works. But you know what, Andrea? This brings up a good point. What's wrong with all the stuff that works? <laughs> That's like, what our son said this like morning. Like regular door handles, it's got a push button thingy. Yeah. To at least there's real door handles kind of on the outside, they're recessed. But all the stuff that works in a car that we've had for a hundred years, yep. stick with that. And Zach on Mercedes Benz, the oh. lever to change the seats up and down, forward and back are now on the door and Zach hated that with I Mercedes Benz. So welcome to the BMW world, Zach. Yeah, while well, they're copying Mercedes. Don't copy, do what works for you. Having the controls here, that works. So I drove our son to school this morning. And he's like, why can't they just make an EV like a regular car, a chip off the old block here, hey, right? It's a, yo, wait, I'm just gonna take it one step farther, <laughs> okay? He had to write an essay for, uh, I don't know what class it was. Yeah, philosophy. And it, was about, it was about climate change. Yeah. Okay, so his take on this was about electric cars. Yeah. And why are all electric cars weird? 
I love the kid. Isn't he great? Yeah. And when oh, we, when he, he better was, get an A. And when he was getting out of the car, he's like, how do I get out of here? How do I get out of here? I said, you just hit the button. Oh my gosh. Why can't I just have a handle? Makes sense, doesn't it? He's going to the top of the class. <laughs> And now it's time for our hot topic. What's this one, Andrea? Let's face it, BMW has moved the EV experience fashion forward. Love it or hate it, we're all talking about it. So mission accomplished. So with a lack of interior piano black, will naysayers now complain of crystals and haptic wood? Zach, what say you? It's funny you say, what say you, Zach, because that same son that's going to get an A on his essay, <laughs> when he was little, like when he was three or four, he used to say, what you say, Pop? What, you, did, yeah, what you say, Mom? If he didn't hear what, what we said, he needed clarification. And you go, what you say, Mom? What you say, Pop? <laughs> anyway, he's so cute, and he's still cute today, He's right? just six foot two. He's the best. All right, uh, this is Fashion Forward, and I like the wood in here with the haptic feedback and I'm glad it's not piano black but this isn't standard is it no it's not standard you How have much to pay is that? extra for of that of course you do it's BMW how yeah. much do you pay for the wood 850 dollars Canadian extra do you have to pay extra for the crystal that's all included in that 850 yeah. bucks see I would I would like one without the other I don't need the Swarovski crystal in here it's well, a Zach, little you don't get that it's all together I want it's the just wood the way it is but without the crystal no nope. you get the crystal I agree with you with your term fashion forward. I really think that BMW has done a great job, especially with the interior. And they're kind of going out on a limb here and they're creating their own unique look. Whether consumers are going to love it or not, this is what they've come out with. And I have to applaud them at least for being unique. This has got a big battery, 106.3 kilowatt hour. The X-Drive 40 has a smaller battery. 76.6 but this thing is huge i think there's going to be a time and it's not going to be that far away where people that will look at huge batteries like this the yeah. same way they look at a v8 gas guzzler suv unnecessary yeah and this in my opinion is overkill and unnecessary so i'm going to do a little math for you andrea this has a 106 kilowatt hour battery a RAV4 hybrid has a 1.6 kilowatt hour battery. Yep. You could make 66 RAV4 hybrid batteries out of one battery out of an iX. So this is used by one person or one family. Yep. Now just imagine 66 RAV4 hybrids lined up. And this is really what we should be doing. We should be producing hybrids and plug-in hybrids. They are fuel efficient and they reduce your carbon footprint. But for some reason, the government has decided that EVs are the way to go. It really isn't the best. What I'm getting at, this is not the best use of our resources, yeah. of our limited number of materials to make batteries. So you have one person driving down to Bay Street or Wall Street in this, or you could have 66 RAV4s reducing emissions by 30%. Yeah. Think about that. There actually is a lot of competition out there in this category. Let's see what else you can buy. For your consideration, four vehicles for you to consider. Up first is the Audi e-tron with 402 horsepower and up to 357 kilometers of range. It has a starting price of just under $87,000. The Tesla Model X with 670 horsepower and up to 531 kilometers of range. It has a starting price, put your seatbelt on, $147,500. The Tesla Model Y Long Range with 384 horsepower and 531 kilometers of range, it has a starting price of just under $84,000. The Cadillac Lyric with 340 horsepower and 480 kilometers of range and a starting price under $68,000. So there are four electric SUVs for you to consider. All right, we're going to get into the important pricing, charging time, warranty, and towing capacity. It's all in our vital stats. Let's start with pricing. The iX xDrive 40 in Canada starts under $80,000. The xDrive 50 in Canada is just under $90,000 and just over $83,000 in the U.S. And the M60 starts at just over $121,500 Canadian and just over $105,000 in the U.S. Prices tested just over $113,000 Canadian. 
In the U.S., BMW offers two years of complimentary 30-minute charging at Electrify America stations. With a level two charger, the iX can charge a full charge in less than 12 hours. With a 150 kilowatt DC fast charger, you can charge up to 100 kilometers in approximately nine minutes. And with a 50 kilowatt DC charger, it takes about 21 minutes. The iX does not qualify for the EV federal rebate in Canada of $5,000, but in the US, it does qualify for the tax credit of up to $7,500. The iX has an impressive towing capacity of 5,500 pounds. The warranty is four years, 80,000 kilometers or 50,000 miles. In Canada, there's no charge scheduled maintenance for three years and unlimited kilometers. In the US, it's three years or 36,000 miles. Lightning round, two things we like, two things we like to see improved. I really like how comfortable this is. I like the interior too. I'd love to see wireless Android Auto. I'd like to see a different grill. Powerful, comfortable, but oh so pricey. <laughs> oh so <laughs> hmm, ugly? No, not ugly, it's just, I don't know. This video is brought to you by Car Cost Canada. Get the dealer's cost, list of rebates, plus discounted interest rates. Use the promo code MOTORMOUTH to become an expert member and get extra searches. The link is in the description below.